Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Node-RED through a simple example. Now, if you haven't already watched the video on how to set up Node-RED, you can go watch that so you're ready to use Node-RED in this example. So first what we're going to do is actually run Node-RED. We'll go to our command prompt, just enter Node-RED. You'll see the server is now running at Oh, it's giving us some information on the inside headset, so you can just scroll up. Server is now running at this link. Control click to go to the link. Now you'll see that Node Red is running. This is the example we're going to be building, but I'm going to start it from scratch and show you how to do it step by step. Now you'll see if you scroll down, what you're going to want to do is go until you see the pink nodes. These are all the emotive nodes. First, you're going to want to bring over an emotive node. This is actually what's going to connect to a motive and to your account. Then there's a bunch of different nodes. You can specify the profile, but if you already have your profile up and running in a motive BCI, then it'll automatically connect to that profile. Um, mental commands, you can see here, you can click on it, double click. You can see changing the different commands. So depending what command you train, push, pull, lift, etc. There's other ones like facial expressions, performance metrics, in this example, I'm going to quickly show you using frequency band powers. Uh, we'll set in this case, let's do alpha. We're going to connect a motive to the frequency band power. And then the next thing we're going to do, just to quickly see the output of this frequency band, we're going to go all the way to the top and click on debug. And that's just going to display the output of the frequency band power on this right hand tab. So you'll see it'll be in the debug section. Then the last thing you have to do is just click deploy. You'll see it'll say connecting, it's logged in as Grace, getting alpha data, perfect. You can see all these numbers popping up here. Each of these is the alpha band power of the different sensors. So one thing you can kind of try is try closing your eyes and you should see that that alpha band power increases or maybe have someone by your side to see if they increase while your eyes are closed. This is just a quick example to get you familiar with how to use Node-RED, but in a future video, I'm going to show you how to actually connect to a smart light in your room using Node-RED. But I hope that this was helpful to just get familiar with the Node-RED application. Finally, if you want some more resources on how to use Node-RED and explore some of its other functionalities, I recommend these tutorials by Node-RED. They really helped me when I was first learning how to use the program.